Hey everyone, today I want to talk about drawing and naming saturated fatty acids because fatty acids are really important in building other lipid molecules. All right, so fatty acids are made up of two different components. They are a carboxylic acid and a hydrocarbon chain. So if we were just to draw a random fatty acid, it would look something like this. Now I'm hoping from OCHEM or General Chem, you remember um, what a carboxylic acid group is. So it would look, you know, something like this is your carboxylic acid. Then all you need to do to make this into a fatty acid is add a hydrocarbon chain coming out this way. So there we go. Now, fatty acids are characterized by two very important numbers, the number of carbons and the number of double bonds. So let's figure out these two numbers for the example fatty acid right here. To start the carbons, you just need to count how many make up this hydrocarbon chain. So we'll start here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten carbons. All right, we have ten for that. And then if you look at this hydrocarbon chain, we have no double bonds. This number would be zero. Now how you'll see these two numbers written out to describe a fatty acid is you would see it be 10 colon zero. So when you see these two numbers represented like this, what this information is telling you is the first number before the colon is always the number of carbons. That is the number of carbons in the hydrocarbon chain. The second number after the colon is always telling you the number of double bonds, which again here is zero in this example. Now, when this number is zero and there's no double bonds, we call this type of fatty acid saturated. So this is an example of a saturated fatty acid. There are no double bonds in it. So one way to sort of describe fatty acids is using these two numbers with a colon. Now, if we get onto naming this fatty acid, there's basically two steps and we've done most of the work already. Step one is count the carbons. Step two, count the number of double bonds. So we know this already. Now, for naming, what we do, we know there's 10 carbons. So 10 is, in chemistry is usually represented as decane. But this is a carboxylic acid. This is just not a hydrocarbon chain, which is what decane represents. So what you do, you have to subtract the E and add oic. So for this example, we get decanoic acid. And decanoic acid is a carboxylic acid with a hydrocarbon chain that is 10 decane. That's where we get 10 but we call it decanoic acid to show that it's a fatty acid. Now, a lot of these fatty acids can be named with the systematic name where you're, you're using basically your knowledge from chemistry, but most fatty acids we use in food also have a common name, and most of these you will just have to memorize. Um, this is how other food scientists might talk about these fatty acids. You would hear this just be called capric acid. So capric acid is another way of saying there's 10 carbons and zero double bonds. So you sort of have this, you know, old school chemistry way of naming as well as a common name. All right, now say on a question, I give you this structure of a fatty acid and I could ask you a couple things. I could say, what's the name for this? How many double bonds is there? How many carbons? What's the common name? So let's start figuring this out. So, like I said, the first step you usually want to follow is count the number of carbons, then count the number of double bonds. So, let's start numbering our carbons. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, 
All right, so I counted 16 carbons. So let me write that over here. Just for my reference, I'll put the two dots. So the first number, always the number of carbons. Now the second number will be the number of double bonds. If you look back at this example, I don't see any double bonds, which means this is also a saturated fatty acid. So we put the number zero after the colon, no double bonds. So now we have to think, what is the name for a 16 carbon or 16 carbons in a hydrocarbon? So if it was just carbons, not a, not a fatty acid, we might call this hexadecane for hexadecane, 16 carbons. So if we need to change this to show it's a fatty acid, we subtract the E and add OIC to the ending. So we have hexadeca noic acid. Now, that's one way to name it. Again, you can see if you look up on a reference table, this does have a common name and this is palmitic acid. But what's important is that you can name each of these fatty acids if I just give you a structure. Now, another thing I could do is simply give you this name if I gave you hexadecanoic acid, would you be able to draw this structure? And you should be able to because you know from the name that it is 16 carbons. And I'll show you that soon you'll see this also means there's no double bond. So you should be able to go from a structure to a name or a name to a structure.